the um, as I mentioned before, there are many different types of um, uh, energy sources. And um, yes, I gave you a classical um, scenario there, but there are also um, um, embedded, what is referred to as embedded or cogeneration of electricity, um, and they are usually um, on a particular site, and they could be solar, it could be wind, could be hydro, but whatever they are, are also diesel generated. But they tend to be localized to an area, and often localized to uh, one particular installation, um, and they uh, supply both the load and also the grid um, with um, energy and hence um, they need to also be covered by that. Now uh, the term grid is also a very specific thing. Um, the grid is what is referred to as the poles and wires of the electricity network that it um, supplies the, um, uh, the electricity to the consumer and um, the people who supply the, uh, the energy the electrical energy to the consumer, I'll refer to as a utility, okay? And um, and just so you know that they're my definitions of common usage, okay? So um, the um, the as I mentioned earlier, that the componentry of um, of the electrical system is the source of energy, the interconnections. And also the load. So, um, and the idea is that the scope of um, the system will cover all, but um, the generalised requirements are mainly there for the special. Generalised requirements are mainly there for the low voltage network. However, um, through uh, referencing they are covering the, the whole of the network. Okay, so um, the idea is that, yes, you may be working for a transmission company, but um, your wiring and your standards are very specific to your application, but as a general rule, you, the, um, the regulatory and mandatory standard is AS3000 in Australia, um, and hence you need to be covered by the laws that that dictates, and but that also will actually um, give you the various substandards, or um, not sorry, the relevant um, um, uh, particular standards which cover your particular application. Okay, so the um, so the idea of um, the standard itself recognizes that the electricity is actually a potentially hazardous um, source of energy and then tries to um, protect the users and the equipment from the adverse effects of it. So um, and what they, uh, in other words, to protect the user and also the, uh, the, the equipment. Now there are um, the need for protection and there are three um, um, issues why protection is important is that you have a safety of the personnel and all the livestock that um, are affected by it. Um, they will make the whole system a lot uh, more reliable and a lot more functional and they tend to cover most hazards from other areas as well. So. The, um, the two active parts um, of protection are overcurrent and um, earth fault, um, but there are many different other types, okay, um, and we'll go through some of those. So the idea of the, the concept is that it is a risk-based um, um, methodology, and as you know, risk is always based in uh, two methods. Firstly, in the um, the identification, or sorry, part of it is the identification of the risk, then um, the uh, assessment and control of the probability of the risk, and then the mitigation of the risk if it actually does occur. So it's importantly that we look at each of the um, the rule sets in that manner 
to actually give you um, a good idea of what actually has occurred and why the recommendations in AS3000 are written like that. Because I can tell you that some of the rules um, may become, well, may appear to be um, unsure. You may be unsure of why they're doing various things. Okay. Um, so, um, and it will go through the types of loads and the methods of earthing that will occur. Now, there are um, two broad categories of um, install. Uh, of uh, functionality within an electrical system, and that is the ability to actually um, have the system deliver the power. Okay, so that's the delivery of the energy, and the one other complementary part is if there is a fault, because it is defined as a hazardous, um, well, potentially hazardous uh, medium how the energy, and in particular the current, is actually um, um, diverted or used in a safe manner. And that is uh, generally, through one of the principles is through a grounding. Okay, so the dispersion of the actual energy after a fault into a recognized point. Okay. So, the, um, are there any questions thus far? Any comments? So far, we're okay. Right now, um, what I will ask you, please, um, are um, there is a um, an assumption that I have made, and I, it's a wrong thing to make. Um, is everyone, um, apart from Shaden, um, electrically um, uh, trained? And have okay. 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 Good. So we we will um, uh, we'll go through and make sure that the um, the the system is. Um, so I won't have to explain some of the basic concepts like voltage, current, and power. So that's that's good. Okay. So um, the. Um, so the when I um, and please um, if I do um, if I if you do come across or if I do come across at some phase phasing or um, terminology that you're not aware of, please tell me um, and I'll explain it. That's the whole idea of this. Um, and also, if you have a better way to explain it other than what I've just gone through, I'm happy to hear your comments uh, and your suggestions as well. Okay, so the um, the idea is that um, we have the um, the protection based upon um, two things. Firstly, the minimization of the uh, of the the power um, in a dangerous situation, and um, we do that by isolation or um, and stopping of the power. So there are two things. Now, isolation um, minima, uh, uses the, the principle of various things, including um, uh, insulation or distance. Um, so you actually are protecting people from the, um, the different possibilities of fault. And then by um, allowing the uh, separation, the other one is that we have the uh, particular systems in place that will stop the current actually flowing through it, and there are things like switch gear and, and circuitry. So, but there are um, at the, the principle of most of the faults that occur in, and that's not only the faults, but it's the majority of the faults that occur in an electrical system, are based upon the um, active conductor. Um, being in contact with another active conductor or an um, an earthing or a non-intended uh, frame, so in uh, or non-intended part. So, in other words, um, you have this um, conductor um, 
with either a face to face fault or a face to earth fault or a face to ground fault. Now, um, I, I am very specific about what I say when I'm talking about um, the terminologies and um, earthing and grounding are often um, um, often used interchangeably, but there are very specific things. Okay, very very specific things, and um, again, I'd like to uh, I'd be happy to take your comment. But earthing is the um, the protective aspect of the system that will take potentially um, dangerous currents and put them to a safe manner or deal with them in a safe manner and the um, earth grid is part of that and that what the earth grid actually resides in is a thing called massive earth. Now, um, so that's the, the, the thing. With the term ground, the ground is actually a terminology referred to the potential of a system. So it, ground is usually um, minimum voltage and the voltage then um, could be a functional ground. In other words, you could have it ground tied to zero volt, but the idea is that it is at a lower voltage. Okay? Now, there are many different debates about those two terms, but I tend to use those two definitions just to make the distinguishing factor um, a little bit easier. Again, happy to take any debate on that.